Yes, people, you're locked into Urban Future UK. I'm here with a very special guest, a friend of mine, Mr. David Ajala. What's up, man? Nice to meet you, guys. Always a pleasure, man. Thank you for taking pleasure, time man. out of your day. No worries, man. All right, let's get straight into it. I yeah. want to talk about Fast Six because when I was watching it, it just looked amazing. Like, absolutely crazy. The fireworks, the cars, everyone was just, they did better than Fast Five. They did yeah, yeah. Than Fast Five. Our target's Owen Shaw, former Spec Ops soldier. For years, they've been running jobs in Europe, but it's the most recent job that graduated them to a whole new level. Die to die. We're not dealing with cops, with drug dealers. I've never seen this before. This code you live by makes you predictable. An outline of work predictable means vulnerable. I can reach out and break you whenever I want. How was that working for you? It, like, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, you know, I didn't really know too much about Fast and the Furious. Yeah. Like, I mean, I knew of it as a film, but then when my agent phoned me and said, oh, you're going to be auditioning for Fast and the Furious 6, I was yeah. like, right, they're still going? What, yeah. number 6? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, look, I've gone in, I've done the audition and everything, yeah. and then, like, with the way it works, you do the audition, yeah. you may not meet anyone from Fast and the Furious, but you meet a representative who will yeah. film your scenes. Yeah. So I've done that, didn't think much of it, then they contacted my agent to say they liked what I did yeah. and they, they're going to keep me posted in the future about what they're up to. Okay. So now I'm working on something else. Mm -hmm. And then they contacted me again to say, right, you're meeting the director and the producer in the studio. Mm -hmm. So I got into the studio, done my scenes, didn't think of nothing of it. Mm -hmm. And then I left and then three weeks after, they called and confirmed me for it. And they were yeah. like, boom, like you're on board, start training. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, like you had to, you had to work out for it because okay. in the film, I had to make because they wasn't sure what they were gonna do with us. Yeah, they needed to make sure that we were physically able. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, if I'm having fights with some of the characters, it mm. won't look silly. Like they weren't gonna put me up against the Rock. Yeah, Vin Diesel. Yeah, yeah. Those guys are huge. <laughs> but they'll put me up against Tyrese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened, you know? And filming it was mm. crazy. I can imagine, like, I can imagine. Where was it, where was it filmed? Because I know they did different locations, like one in London, some in London, yeah, yeah. some in LA. What other areas did they go to? Like? Well, specifically in London, we mm. filmed in Hackney. Okay. We filmed in King's Cross. Yeah. We filmed like some parts of Surrey. Yeah. Then they filmed in the Canary Islands, mm -hmm. then they filmed in Los Angeles. Yeah. But when you watch the film, yeah. you see a lot of London in it. Yeah, and yeah, And that's yeah. what was so cool. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and when obviously working on the film, the director let me just be Cockney. Yeah throwing Cockney rhyme and slang and stuff. He just, he gave me that freedom, freedom to yeah. do it. Yeah. Which was so cool. Was cool. What's so. it like, um, like obviously playing the bad guy basically? Like, what was it like? Was that, I won't really say that's too much of it. Was that a different role for you or? Like, like just... I, I find, you know what I find recently, the past like year, mm -hmm. I've been playing more villains. Yeah, yeah. And like, I kind of enjoy it, you okay. know? Because there was a stage where I wasn't really playing the parts of villains because mm -hmm. people thought, my, my face was too trusting. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, I didn't mind that. <laughs> but then something happened, and I think maybe as I developed and my voice has dropped and whatnot, yeah. now I play more villains. I yeah. get to mix up a bit more as well as doing a lot of other stuff. I mean, playing bad guys is fun. Yeah. Because you get to pick on people. Yeah. You yeah. get to, like, you know, I was enjoying having a shoot up with Tyrese and shooting at Tyrese. So. Yeah. Sun Kang. It's just fun <laughs> to bully these guys on yeah. our territory. Yeah. The Americans coming to the UK, okay. coming to Hackney. Okay. And I said, you guys better be on your best behaviour because you're a long way away from home. <laughs> and that was fun, you know, to kind of have that facade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's it like working on with them? Um, who, who's the bad guy in your crew? Obviously, you had the bad guys in your crew in that. Like, yeah, yeah. Were, there, were there ever times where, obviously, the acting would be offset as well? Like, people right. still treat you like... In, I think sort of like in, a bad guy in my like, crew, yeah. like... Everyone was really cool, yeah. but looked physically intimidating. Okay. Like, one of the guys in our crew, who was The Rock's rival, yeah. was bigger than The Rock, taller than The Rock. Mm -hmm. The Rock is huge. Yeah. This guy's even bigger than The Rock. So it's like when he walks around on set, mm -hmm. like I make sure that I'm rolling with him. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, if yeah. I need to that get an extra you. sandwich or yeah. you know something, I'm just like, hey, like i got a big guy here, yeah, so yeah. Let's, you let me know how you want to do this. Sandwich or beat him, like you, <laughs> you choose. But it was cool. He's the coolest guy as well. Yeah. He's, 
soft guy, man. He's mm. so, so cool. Mm. But obviously, he just looks the part. Yeah. yeah. And, like, I mean, Vin Diesel's crew as well. A lot of them, I got on very well with them. Yeah. Cool guys. Yeah. What was it like being on a red carpet? Like, do you know what I mean? How was that? It's all, it's all glamorous, man. Well, I mean, it's fun. It's different from to here, isn't it? Like, yeah, I, I mean... Mean, like here, I did when I did the London premiere. Yeah. It was great because it was like, oh wow! Like mm. first featured, but well, a second Hollywood movie because I did the Dark Knight before. But this yeah, yeah. was more. It's a bit different because mm-hmm. I was involved in it a bit more, and it was mm-hmm. like, oh cool. Big Hollywood movie mm-hmm. on London soil. Yeah. In my hometown, like this is special. It was cool walking the red carpet, mm. and then I'm signing for a few people who know me or whoever. I'm kind of blagging. I was like, hey, yeah, like whatever. <laughs> like if you, if you recognize me, recognize me. I'll, I'll sign away. Mm. But it was it was really nice. But then you go to Los Angeles. Yeah. And like, I thought London premiere was great, but Los yeah. Angeles it took it to the next level. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's ridiculous! <laughs> like the red car. How can you have a red carpet in the, in the middle of a red carpet? You have a stage mm. where Ludacris, Tyrese, Two Chains, Wiz mm. Khalifa all performing, and there's a red carpet, and there's like free food and drinks. And See, we need something like that over here. Like the UK needs to step up. Th- th- they're doing well, but I mean, Los Angeles is just in a league of its own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can it imagine re- it, it, everything it really just happens is. in Los Angeles. It's Everyone just it's a it. different league, man. Yeah, it really is. But it was fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, did you, like, obviously with that now, has more exposure just basically come your way now? Like, obviously people are starting to realize who you are more, and yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I think, I think, like. As you said, with the exposure, I think mm. when you work on different things, yeah. you more people see you and are aware that you're an actor and blah yeah, blah. Yeah, 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 definitely. What's funny is, and all the stuff I've done, I've done, I've built up my CV to work on a lot of stuff. Yeah. But I found the one thing most people recognize me for mm. is the Dark Knight. Yeah, yo, Gamble, somebody here for you. They say they've just killed the Joker. They broke the body. is small but there's a lot of potential for aggressive expansion so which of you fine gentlemen would like to join our team oh there's only one spot open right now so we're gonna have tryouts yeah yeah that was a big movie so it was a great film amazing I, I, amazing i so enjoyed it yeah like but when filming it it was mm. awesome yeah and i, I have no idea would be that he big. fledger by the way I it goes without saying man mm. cool I, I think he was an incredible actor oh. and the coolest guy yeah did, Such you, a cool, did you actually have a chance to speak to him yeah yeah, yeah he was a cool guy yeah he was just really just relaxed humble mm-hmm. very talented mm. so talented and on set he never came out of character yeah. and it was great to work with him yeah. but then it's like I was in that for one scene yeah. and it was probably lasted for three minutes or whatever mm. I've done other stuff mm-hmm. but that's the one thing that most people recognise me for and yeah. that was crazy yeah. like I'm, I'm telling you and some people they don't go oh where do you they go oh Dark Knight yeah. and that was weird yeah. you know but what made you um, decide to get into acting? Yeah, where did it all start from? What, what was the defining point where that made you say yes? I need to do acting. Yeah, I need, I need to do acting. Secondary school. Secondary school. Too much energy, always getting in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> always getting in trouble. My, 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 my form tutor was my maths tutor. Yeah. And he was um, he was such a cool guy, Mr. Sen. I went to Kingsland Secondary School in Hackney. Mm-hmm. Mr. Sen, I gave him massive shout outs. Mm-hmm. He just, um, he used to just encourage me to put that energy in something productive yeah so it went into acting Mm -hmm. but then with the acting when I first did it it was it's like wearing a trainer that's a bit tight yeah or feels different and you're Mm -hmm. trying to get used to it Mm -hmm. and then as you wear it more and you break it in you get a bit more comfortable with Mm -hmm. it and then it just became a passion Mm -hmm. and then I really thought oh yeah this is cool Mm -hmm. and I've just been doing it ever since I just really enjoy it I enjoy Mm -hmm. just being able to put my energy into different things and play different people and connect with people. Yeah, that's great. Well, I've got this massive collection for you. Yeah. I basically set this up for you. So like, literally, I just want you to pick like, if, you, if there are movies that you recognize, that you've seen, yeah. like which one inspired you that you remember watching like, yeah, I yeah. want to be like that or this, any kind of, we've got loads of movies here. We've got like Paranormal Activity, yeah. Taken, Pursuit of Happiness. There's like, so many. There's so many, like right. if you just pick one or two. Okay. Like, 
Number one, Transformers. Transformers. Which one was that? The, in fact, sorry, put it back. The original Transformers. This oh, one the original. Right the first one. The first one, okay. First one, I remember my brother talking about this. I mean, yeah. I'm an 80s baby, and I yeah. remember he was telling me about Transformers. Uh, the carton was huge on yeah. TV during yeah. this time. And um, he watched it with my younger sister. Mm -hmm. I remember thinking, oh, sounds like a cool film, but it's the way he was talking about it. Yeah. I didn't want him to over, you know, hype the film. Over embellish it, yeah. Exactly, yeah. you know, I was trying to avoid that because I didn't mm -hmm. want to go to the film and then watch it and then just be disappointed. I wanted to yeah. take it fresh. Mm -hmm. um, Obviously, you have to pick out your one. <laughs> you have to pick out your one. Have to, man. Heath Ledger, Dark Knight. Oh, man. That's amazing. Yourself, movie. Sir. Have Salute you seen the third one? Awesome film. Yeah, I have. You have. Equally man, great. I've had this debate so many times with my friends here. Yeah. Who played a better bad guy? Was it Bane from the third one? Yeah. Or Heath Ledger? For me, I picked Heath Ledger. Because yeah. the Joker was just amazing. He was, wasn't he? Like, when they was questioning him in that room. Bane was actually brute force because he did intimidate the Batman. Yeah, yeah. But I think did. Joker just he just made the Dark Knight for me. I agree. What do you think? What do you think? I think um Heath Ledger was incredible as the Joker. Yeah. Like and and seeing him, because there's not many people that know about the story about being on set. But mm -hmm. when we were on set and we were filming yeah. and he was doing his takes, yeah. usually on set after takes there'll be a bit of talking and whatnot mm -hmm. and, and stuff and meandering about. But after his takes, mm -hmm. it was quiet. Yeah, because when you see how he embodied this Joker and and the work that he was doing, you're lost for words because mm -hmm. you're thinking, no, he didn't just do that. Mm. No, I'm I'm not seeing this face to face. Yeah, he was incredible. Yeah, like seeing it face to face, it was just something else. Mm -hmm. And it's the fact that he never came out of character. Yeah, and he was so dedicated to what he did. Yeah. and the coolest guy, and he was brilliant. Yeah. Um, there's not much room. What's that right there? At the end. Oh! Oh snap! Look what we have. Oh snap! What do we have right there? And to be honest, did you number say you ain't seen this? No, 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 no. Yeah. Have you seen it? I've seen that. No, you know, I've seen number five. Yeah. Number five was awesome. Mm -hmm. But I haven't, I haven't watched any of these. Mm -hmm. Bad. And they're bringing sorry, out another one. Sorry, guys. Well. So, sorry. Um. <laughs> Uh, everyone from oh, Fast and Furious who may, who may see this, please forgive me. It's all love, like. But um, yeah, number five was was yeah, sick. Don't. Okay, now that you're you're definitely deep into the acting business, I feel now. Um, is there any main actor that you would love to work with that you'd have to like before like your acting career is done? You have to work with that person. Yeah. Oh, there's a few. There's a few. Yeah. Oh, there's there's Give a lot. Like, top five. Top five. Least, top five. Ah, uh, Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. Love to work with Meryl Streep. Mm -hmm. Love to work with Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks, okay. Love to work with Chiwetel Ejiofor. Who's that? Where oh, he's the Chiwetel, Chiwetel Ejiofor's in Inside Man. Was he? He plays, he's the detective with Denzel Washington. Oh yeah, the guy that's in, um, in um, what's called, American Gangster as well. Yeah, the, exactly. His cousin, I think. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Chilton yeah. Jeffers from London. Yeah. He's a brilliant actor. I'd love to work with Denzel Washington yeah. as well. well um, so what's next for you? Like, um, what's, what's, what's the next step? You've done Fast 6 now. Yes. Yeah. What's the next projects that you have lined up? Like, where um, do you see yourself in the next? Oh no, it's confirmed. Yeah. I'm taking over for Christian Bell. I'm being the first black Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see that. <laughs> but wait, I, I heard he just might be the next James Bond as well. So did you know? Oh, for that? real? Yeah, that's a rumor. Oh, he that's just cool. Might be the next James Bond because apparently um, Daniel Craig's getting a bit too old. So. Right. Okay. Yeah. That look. That could work. That that, that could, could work. work. I mean, why not? I think it's great. Mm. That things are changing, and you know, colorblind casting and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, definitely. But you um, can you act a better Batman than Christian Bell? Ah, uh, it'll be different. It'll be different. I'll say that much. Just for a bit of slang into it. I mean, he'll be like, you know, milk, white chocolate, and yeah. I'll be like, you know, milk chocolate. You can, you can like have him as Robin. You can have him as Robin. That would make we so much sense. You can have a milky bar Robin. Yeah. And a galaxy Batman. <laughs> You see, see how, how keeping it chocolatey yeah, yeah, yeah. and PC. I think the industry would love that. They'll go for it. Definitely. 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 Look, at the moment, I'm doing a film called Jupiter Ascending. Jupiter Ascending. And it's, it's a Wachowski film. Mm -hmm. It's a massive sci-fi film. Yeah. And it's it's just about this character called um, played by Mila Kunis. Mm -hmm. Her character is um, has this special genetic gene which the person in a sci-fi world yeah. really, really wants. Mila Kunis' character lives on Earth. Yeah. This person in the outer world, 
hears that this special girl has this special gene, mm -hmm. and then she sends Channing Tatum's character to go and hunt her and capture her. Okay. Channing Tatum's character goes to capture her, he goes to capture her, but falls in love with her, and then they form an alliance. Okay. In my so character. It's, it's, yeah. it's sort of a bit like, um, what's it called? Um, like a... Uh, Terminator. Yeah, like, yeah. In Boom. Terminator 1. It's like Terminator. Yeah. And then... I'm like, uh, is it T2000, T2000? You know, is that what they're calling you? The e no, you know the evil character that yeah. kind of melts into metal? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like that character. I'm sent to hunt down Channing Tatum and then to capture Mila Kunis. Okay. So, so you're the bad guy again. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I get to... Um, I can't say too much about it. Yeah. It's, it's so secretive. Mm. But not with respect. But I get to have some fun scenes. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's gonna be fun, man. Um, cool. You know, thank you so much. Pleasure, man. I really enjoyed this. It's been a long time coming. Thank you so much. Appreciate mama. that, man. People, best, man. you're locked into Urban Future UK. We just had a lovely exclusive with Mr. David Ajala. You've been hearing a lot more from us, and obviously a lot more of him as you heard. It's I myself, successful Sam, signing out. <laughs>